This is all very new to us. Um, it's not something I think anyone's ever really prepared for. You just kind of go one minute at a time, and literally our minutes are planned out. As we go on, you know, you start thinking, well, oh, how I, I would like more people to hear my music because I think it's important. Because we feel that music is the universal, uh, international language, universal, international language, uh, maybe universal language. It's great to, to actually go to another country and um, you know communicate and try to understand another person's culture. But you have you this know. great gift of music to give them that everybody can understand. I was born in Youngstown, Ohio. I moved to uh, Swickley, PA, then Pittsburgh, PA, then Boston, then Virginia, then Washington, D.C., and now New York, um, which is uh, the glow, the original global village. So that's where I met Dimitri. And I'm up from USSR. I came here in the United States in 1979. And um, I was blown away by the um, conglomeration of cultures in New York. Younger DJ Toa Toa came from Tokyo three years ago. And uh, he was studying, uh, he was going to art school. And we were all going to schools at some point. Um, but we all dropped out, <laughs> and I guess we got hooked up in the club scene um, because it was fun. It's a combination of our, our roots, the different cultures, but also um, the different cultures within the scene, and the integrated club scene is really beautiful. Toa Toa were DJs, so we were able to, uh, you know, to get a response from the dance floor for, um, you know, for our, for our songs. In terms of success, what really matters is um, that these DJs, who we've been fans of for so long, play, playing the records. When we started out doing gigs, we weren't even really looking for a record deal. We were just getting our music out there. With this whole project, we really thought about destiny to a certain extent, like the fact that we all hooked up was so powerful and meant a lot to us that we felt like this is maybe meant to happen. If these people mean so much to us, then there's got to be people in the business world who are going to understand, you know, what, what we're doing. What is love? Pretty much everyone that we've worked with in this project are uh, people that we really like and just people you want to work with. It's not like, oh, I need them, so I better just sign a deal. You know, it was just like we like them. And um, same with Bootsy Collins. I mean, we just kind of gravitate towards what we like, and he was obviously a huge inspiration to us. And um, so we sent him a tape, a demo tape, and he called us back. And that was like a dream come true. When I came to the United States, that's what I was really into was rock music. But then I started gravitating towards dance music um, because it was just really inspiring. I've always been dancing. Even when I was into rock music, I, I would still go to, to the dance clubs as well. And I started DJing and, um, and started to like. I was, I was actually doing fabrics and costume design. I started go-go dancing to make some money, um, and that kind of freed me because the joyous celebration that it is, I kind of opened my world up, and uh, I just uh, have to dance now. And if I don't dance, I start climbing the wall. And I've always loved music and been a big fan. That was like my saving grace. But I was more interested in fashion, and um, I 
was doing textile design. I don't think that fashion is really important when it comes to music. Music is on a much higher level. Really important, I'd just say that it's not really fashion that we're really into. We're into style. I think there's a difference. We're not really married, but uh, we certainly are in love with each other. And we've known each other for seven years. And we've been together for about almost seven years. Um, well, when we started July, uh, it was really the main thing was uh, to, uh, to, to accentuate positivity, to really bring that across. And we thought, you know, we were thinking of names, and it seems like Delight was the most delectable and delicious it's gorgeous. <laughs> name that it's you could think. It's groovy. Be with it. With all the words. You know, soul, you know, delight. Well, the words to world click are kind of um, an important message that Delight wants to, to talk about. It's just a, an alternative to the destruction that people of, uh, living today on the planet are faced with in all areas, environmentally, AIDS, um, social injustice all over. So we thought uh, it's important to make some positive music to uh, just throw around some new ideas. Um, we named the album World Click because of one of the songs on it, which kind of sums it up. There's a lot of different ideas on the album, but that one we thought was, was good to name the album. The words are, um, we don't need a click to make our clock tick. Our click is the world, the world is our click. A small click is like a jip in line. It happens all the time, but it's limited. Whereas a world click is like a skip through time. It's fine and I'm digging it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>